Hi everyone, and welcome to this short video on working with the Idea Statica plugin for Structural 3D. The plugin allows you to export a Structural 3D model, then open it with either Idea Statica Checkbot or Idea Statica Connections. So the first thing we need to do is get hold of the plugin inside uh, Structural 3D. So if you head onto the head over to the Add-ons tab, you'll see here you've got click here to enable your first add-on. You may have another add-on already in there, um, but either way, you want to head to your account settings and enable the Idea Static app. Once we're back in S3D, we can refresh the page and we'll see that we have the Idea Static app available to us. So if we pop that open, the first thing you'll notice is uh, we need to set the country code. So we can set UK, Europe, Australia, or USA. Uh, and that just helps the uh, the mapping of the structural 3D model out to Idea Statica. Uh, when you open the app or when you set the country code, the app will try to map all the materials and sections within your model. So every material or steel material needs to have an equivalent in the Idea Statica uh, materials catalog. So it will try to do this automatically and show you the outcome in the table. If you want to use uh, a different material, you can override that by popping open the dialog here. So you can choose from a different group within Idea Statica and a different material, or indeed you can use the search bar to find the material that you want to use. Once all your materials are mapped, you can head on to the sections tab, and we need to do the same thing again. So uh, the app will try to auto determine the sections or the mapping from SkySiv to Idea Statica, and it will indicate a little status icon uh, there. So if it's not able to determine automatically what section should be mapped, or if you are unhappy with the automatic mapping, you can manually select a different section within here. Uh, again, we could do something like search for the section as well and pick one um, from the list. Um, alternatively, there will be a default section selected. Um, and if you choose to move forward with that default section, when you import the model into Checkbot, you'll then be able to choose the relevant idea statica section um, at that point. So on the main tab, the connections tab, we have our two main workflows for uh, working from Structural 3D to Idea Statica. The first one is to download the full Idea Statica model. The second is to get a smaller file for each connection, each node. So we'll start by trying the Idea Statica model file. Now we need to have a full set of solved results for linear static analysis to work with the checkbot file or indeed with the individual connections. So we are prompted to solve. Um, if you've already solved the model, you can just work without needing to go through this step. So once the model is solved, we can download the Idea Statica model. This will generate uh, a .xml file, the Idea Open model file, and we can open that with Idea Statica Checkbot. So first of all, we start Checkbot. So we need to create a new file. And when doing so, we also need to make sure that we set our design code to be the same as that country code that we selected previously in uh, SkySid Structural 3D. So once we've created our new file, we can import the ion by selecting the file that we downloaded. And there we have the model in uh, Idea Statica Checkbot from Structural 3D. We can look at things like the results that have been exported for a combination. And we can see the results that we brought through from Structural 3D. We can then go on and open a single connection as well, which will pop open uh, Idea Statica connection. Mm. 
and there we have the uh, central connection between the two members and a set of results as well that have come through. So we can head back to uh, Structural 3D as well, and we can take a look at the other workflow. So we can enter a series of node IDs that allow us to get the connections for single nodes. So I'll just turn on the node ID so it's a bit, a bit clearer. So we can grab two, three, and five simultaneously. So hit get connection, and then shortly those will be uh, opened in the web viewer. So we're able to open each of the connections in the uh, idea static web viewer. Uh, note that you don't need an idea static license for this, um, just to view these in the web viewer. Of course, you do need one to be working with Checkbot. The other thing we can do from here is download the idea statica connection file. And then if we open that one with idea statica connection, we'll see all the data in there, the materials, the sections, and some loads as well. So those are the two main workflows that you can do from uh, Structural 3D to Idea Statica. Just a quick checklist when you're exporting, make sure you've mapped your materials, make sure you've mapped your sections, make sure you've got a set of results, and then you're able to work flexibly with the um, either the export of full checkbot or the export of a single connection.